A very warm welcome to all viewers and thank you for visiting this channel. Today we will understand about the ICAO NX15, you will have a complete overview of how aeronautical information products are structured. What is more, you will ably scroll through all the information you may need when planning a flight, being more aware of the places where you need to search for some pre-flight information. Let's begin. The object of Aeronautical Information Service is to ensure availability of aeronautical data or information for Global Air Traffic Management System. Annex 15 is the ICAO document concerning the standards and recommended practices for the provision of the Aeronautical Information Service. It's our responsibility to check AIP with all the amendments and supplements, AIC, NOTAMS, and PFIB. Some of the information are static like runway directions, frequencies, holding point coordinates and some of them are dynamic temporary runway closures, volcano activity, high obstacles erected. Some information might announce some regulations permanent changes, some must be inserted into flight management systems in advance. That's why they are grouped into all this different names. All of them gathered together are named Integrated Aeronautical Information Package. Imagine the world of international air travel as a vast network of pathways in the sky. To keep planes flying safely and on time, it's crucial to have a smooth and well-organized flow of information, a special guidebook called Annex 15 lays out a mission for each country. It says that every country must set up an aeronautical information service. This service is like a central hub that gathers and shares important flight information with all kinds of aircraft, ensuring everyone knows what they need to fly safely. Annex 15 also makes it clear that the country itself is responsible for making sure all the aeronautical information they publish is accurate and up-to-date. This ensures that pilots and airlines can always rely on the information they receive. Aeronautical information publication is nothing more than a little book, published by each country, to provide useful aviation guidance. Inside, you'll find essential information like airport details, airways, and valid procedures. But here's the key point, the information in the AIP is static. It means you won't find temporary updates like runway closures for maintenance, bird activity. Instead, in the AIP, you can check out things like runway orientations, taxiway maps, obstacles, facilities, and the types of fuel available for your aircraft. There's a wealth of other useful information too. What's even better is that every country's AIP follows a standardized format. This makes it easier for international pilots to quickly find the data they need, no matter where they're flying. The AIP consists of three parts, Part 1 General, Part 2 En route, Part 3 Aerodrome data. Part 1 is for general information, it contains information such as table of contents, checklist, record of AIP amendments, supplements, contact details of aviation authorities, national regulations, and requirements. Conditions, under which commercial flights might take place in the national airspace, summary of national regulations and international agreements and conventions, differences from ICAO standards and recommended practices, various other information regarding air traffic services, communication services, meteorological services, search and rescue and air navigation services. Part 2 is for en route, you might need this one more, because it gives you an overview of national airspace zones, areas and where they are coordinates, dimensions, ATC frequencies to contact in each of them, this will contain information regarding airspace structure, control zones, control areas, restricted, danger, prohibited airspace and who should you contact if you want to fly into it. It also gives you an information about your clearance limit is which means to which point an aircraft is granted an air traffic control clearance if you are given one an IFR plan, other details such as RNAV routes, Procedures when flying in uncontrolled airspace, altimeter setting procedures, frequencies of en route navigation aids. Part 3 is for aerodrome data it is provides useful information about a certain airport. When we are operating from a certain airport, we need to know all details such as the runway directions, instrument approach procedures, taxiways, hotspots, parking bays, pushback procedures, low visibility procedures, standard arrival and departure route, radio communication failure procedures. All the information that AIP contains is permanent information. Imagine at a certain airport we are planning some development work which may need renovation, extension, repair work. This things usually last couple of months, but they're not gonna last forever. 
As the ICAO NX-15 states that a notum shall be originated and issued promptly whenever the information to be distributed is of a temporary nature and of short duration, whereas temporary changes of long duration, three months or longer shall be published as AIP supplements. So that's what AIP supplement are for. They just tell you the changes that were made to AIP. They are too long for notums and too short to be stated as permanent. What is crucial to understand what AIP supplement are for is that the changes announced by them are temporary. Let's understand this with an example. This is AIP supplement for Mumbai Airport. Each AIP supplement is allocated a serial number, which shall be consecutive and based on the calendar year. AIP supplement number 142 of 2023. Validity, November 2, 2023. 0430 UTC TO May 16, 2024, 1230 UTC, Work Activities on Aircraft Movement Areas Mumbai International Airport. This is to inform concerned users about closure of certain taxiway or runway portion and non-availability of certain facilities during the mentioned period. Changes in affected operational procedure pushback in the affected area. This will work will be completed in 197 days. It takes longer than three months, thus it is announced in AIP supplement. When the apron is finally renovated it has new dimensions, stands numbers, that's a permanent issue which can be found not in supplement, but in amendment. Permanent changes to the AIP are published as AIP amendments. Each AIP amendment is allocated a consecutive serial number and each amended page, including the cover sheet, shows the publication date. The AIP is amended or reissued at regular intervals by replacement pages. AIP has all information for safe efficient flight operations. Any change information that is significant for aviation safety is required to be published as AIP amendment or supplement. Users should have sufficient advance notice for such information so that they can adopt the changes which will occur in future date known as effective date and operators or users can modify the FMS or other database. Let's understand ARAC cycle. ARAC stands for Aeronautical Information Regulation and Control Procedures. There are three dates, publication date, reception date, and effective date. Suppose a new construction work is planned for an airport. This will be going to affect the closure of some portion of operational area or temporary changes in some instrument approach procedure, which will be going to affect aircraft operations. This information is required by airline operator in advance so airline can reschedule flight operations or if required FMS database can be updated. For advance notice, Aeronautical Information Organization will send ARAC information AIP amendment or supplement at least 42 days in advance before the effective date. This is called publication date, the date on which a trigger notum is generated on respective ARAC date and it will remain in force for 14 days. So it is expected that within these 14 days it will be received by all users, effective date is when changes take effect, 28 days before the effective date, users are expected to make necessary updates in database or software. Thus, the Aeronautical Information Regulation Control Cycle is a standardized system used to ensure that all aeronautical information is updated in a synchronized and timely manner. Updates are issued every 28 days, ensuring that changes to flight procedures, navigation aids, and other critical information are implemented simultaneously worldwide. This regular update cycle helps maintain the accuracy and reliability of aviation data, contributing to the overall safety and efficiency of air navigation. A notice containing information that does not qualify for the origination of a notum or for inclusion in the AIP, but that relates to flight safety, air navigation, or technical, administrative, or legislative matters. AICs lapse after five years, but, if still considered important, may be reissued. The AICs are color-coded, white means operational circulars, yellow pertains to administrative matters, including air traffic control facilities and requirements, pink signals safety issues, green pertains to map and chart information, and, MOVE intimates amendments and airspace restriction charts. Pre-Flight Information Bulletin is a presentation of operationally significant valid NOTAM, prepared directly prior to the flight. NOTAM are required whenever information is of direct operational significance, 
the timely knowledge of which is essential for personnel involved in flight planning and realization, notam are to be originated and issued promptly whenever the information to be distributed is of a temporary nature and of short duration, or when operationally significant permanent changes, or temporary changes of long duration, are made at short notice. Notum should not remain in force for more than three months. Let's discuss about different types of notums. Series A contains information in respect of changes or unserviceability of aeronautical facility procedures or hazards likely to last for more than two hours in respect of locations of direct importance to international aircraft operations. Series B contains information in respect of changes or unserviceability of aeronautical facility procedures or hazards likely to last more than 30 minutes but less than two hours in respect of locations of direct importance to international aircraft operations. Series C contains information in respect of changes or unserviceability of aeronautical facility or procedures or hazards in respect of locations used by domestic flights only. Series C is given national distribution only. Series D contains information in respect of changes or unserviceability of aeronautical facility, procedures or hazards in respect of locations of defense-controlled airfields used by civil flights. Series G contains significant aeronautical information of lasting character affecting aircraft operations, issued only by International NOTAM Office. Other NOTAM are, SNOTAM, it contains runway condition report, it has 8 hours validity, ASHTAM, it informs about volcanic activity, volcanic eruption, volcanic ash cloud, it has 24 hours validity. Aeronautical Information Service NX-15 is a cornerstone of safety, regularity, and efficiency. By ensuring that each country provides accurate and standardized aeronautical information through their AIPs, pilots around the world can navigate the skies with confidence. This organized flow of information not only supports daily operations, but also strengthens the global aviation community, making air travel safer and more reliable for everyone.